Uh, <laughs> what time is it? One o'clock? Wow. She just, oh, she's post office. I, I could, why is post office closed? No, one, between one and two, she's not there. That's right. He's going to have a field day, isn't he? I just said that. You just said what? Hey, you, are you saving me? Nope, those can be thrown away. Just take them out to the back of the van. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's been a very tense morning with my millennial son. He's in his attitude mood. He's gonna pick on everybody, put everybody down, because like mom said, inferiority complex. So he's gonna go with the millennial jokes. He's getting old. Anyway. Now he's come on. Should I wait a little bit before I announce the uh, image that we, uh, there's only five, I was gonna announce the image. Selection. We're gonna get started on the 18 by 24 inch oil paint. Huge. Should I wait? I'll wait. It's gonna be huge. It's huge. Good pain. Is there a label for that? Not yet. I'm working on it right now. Hey, where's my wireless printer? Could you put my wireless where's printer back there? up there so do I can print have, from it, please? Do you, do you have the uh, in, inventory Jesus. sheet? Just get, I want my wireless printer over there so I can print it right yeah. over to Tim. Yeah, right now, let's go. I want to be quick, fast, yeah, just, fast. I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting. Can I have this? Please put. Can I have this? What's wrong? What are you getting all upset? You just kicked over the trash container. What's the problem? What are you doing? It's a moment. He's having a moment. I'm having a moment. Put my printer hooked up here. Can I use the printer? Doesn't function. It yeah. does function. It's just this millennial. I know what he's doing. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be anti-millennial day. It's anti-millennial day. Just give you guys. A, who was trained and raised by a uh, boomer? So you can pick on. <laughs> it's a boomer anti-boomer day. <laughs> You didn't do it right, so he's got, he's part of the problem. <laughs> oh, oh, good phone. Hey, this is incorrect. Well, you didn't do that right, so I got, I fixed it. I fixed it. Didn't have it in the bag. Telephone. You may answer it. Yep. All right. Huh. Why isn't that ProTinker.com. How may I direct your call? Yes. Hold on. May I have to ask who's calling? Okay. Good, buddy. Good. I will put him on. He's in the sauna right now. But he can, uh, put the glass. No, here he is. Hold on. Tony Bittner. Tony Bittner? No, it's Antonio. Brian? Told me, he told me Tony. Brian? No, he said Ryan. Oh. He did say Ryan. What's your problem now? I fixed it. This was out of the bag. It shouldn't have been. Well, no, they don't come with bags. No, this was out of the bag. Like, but, but they don't always one. have to come in Well, a bag. they should be yeah. in the bag. So I'm always saying. keep them in the bag. Two of those. I need to get two of them yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm getting... That's that. the other problem I was telling you. Everything is wrong here. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I seen that. I don't know why we keep getting that stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Right, what yeah. time? What time do you want? Whatever time you want to come. Uh, I'm, I'm slammed with that. Uh -oh. 
Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. I'm already like an hour and some behind. Uh, are you here at five? Yep. Yeah. I can be here at five. Okay, so uh <laughs> Traction. Yeah, it's right there. Hurry up. Mm -hmm. exactly. Gotta keep him on his feet. Otherwise, he just gets lost. He doesn't focus and then stay focused. So I have to keep pointing things out very calmly while he goes on his millennial, uh, you know, anti rants and then his food. You gotta eat that, spray, you know, all that. He's, we're going to get it probably committed. I'm just not sure. We're looking for a location that will take him uh, with some of his slot cars. We're working on it. Problem day. Technical issues. Let's go with. Anyway, go to the. Yeah. Did you get that chassis? Yes, I did. I had it laying over here. I got it. Wrapped and ready to go. Just need the label. I'm working on that right now, partner. Yeah, I've seen that. That one. should be in a seven by five by five box. Uh, because of that one big extraction, it won't fit. Correct. None of those will. The other bubbles won't fit in it either. That's an eight six four box. Correct. No, the eight six four is too short with the I one angle, so I've already got it taken care of. I'm using an eight eight eight. Yeah, I don't know if I like the eight 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 box. Just, uh, we're gonna have to reevaluate the eight 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 box. Who took my? You know what I'm saying? There's your label right there. I don't see it. I don't want to make chicken sandwich. I would. I'd make a peanut butter and jelly. Where's the label? I don't see any labels in there. I'm waiting on the labels though. You put the roll out. I'm gonna yeah, I think we would make it so the kids. Everybody would take the roll out. So we can share that. That way you can share it a little bit better. Um, and I'll put that in the description of the video from now on. Where's the label? It's coming. I don't see it. All right. It really does. Yeah, the people are starting to share their collection. See the label? Uh, there's a label here. That's it, baby. Peels off nicely. You know, I think I'm going to order me a chicken sandwich at Country Farmhouse. Yo, sir, yo, give me a chicken sandwich. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. I have their menu right here. Yeah, 
some people that are getting back into it, they don't they only have like memories of when they had them when they were kids and they're all gone. And all the stuff. Some of the original stuff. Yeah, it's not the original stuff. Yeah, it's Yeah, this is uh, Pro Tinker Toys, and I'd like to order one of those grilled chicken sandwiches with uh, lettuce, mayonnaise, um, and uh, a little pickle slice, and then chips, and um, a little cup of coleslaw, please, and some cr oh, some crackers. Oh, yes, the pickle that comes with it, please. 15 minutes, great. Thank you very much. Hey, Bri Hairstar reminds me of King Captain Kangaroo. That's right. This is this is exactly what Captain Kangaroo looked like. And I thought I would uh, reprise Captain Kangaroo. I'm gonna I'm gonna have my hair look like this from now on. I'm gonna just have it flat, okay? Just like that. I'm just going to keep letting it grow, and then we're going to cut it off like this. Just going to let it be flat, okay? Is It's going to be flat like the movie I watched last night called The Hidden or The Forgotten Forest or The Forgot... Because The Hidden Fortress had nothing to do with the movie. <laughs> Actually, it did, but it you didn't did. catch it. It didn't. It was called Hidden Fortress. Oh, Hidden Fortress. Oh, I didn't catch... What? You I didn't catch, catch any of it stuff. because the movie... Was lost. <laughs> You're just picking on a great film, guys. That movie was the worst film I think I've ever seen in my entire well, life. That's a lie. Well, I no, it was. It I was. would say Attack of the Leeches is pretty. No, bad. no, no. Actually, the Attack of the Leeches actually had some action. Yeah, go ahead and hold your fan hands. It was a great film. And I thank you very much for allowing me to watch it until I get my studio. That movie was terrible. It was awesome. Terrible. Per Kurosawa. Hidden Fortress. Absolutely. That was his first yeah. feature length film. Using yeah, well, that screen. should have been his last, frankly. Got to be careful how much you speak because you're showing your ignorance. No, I'm not. Nationally, you know, some people online. think some people think some things are are good. Some people think bad. Some people think that that uh, Citizen Kane wasn't very good. I'm just telling you, I didn't think the movie was any good. Maybe in Japan it'd be fine. Okay, maybe they understand that. Okay, but the movie had. It just went on and on and on. I mean, I mean, give me a royal break. Oh, nice. Good. <laughs> Exactly. Oh yeah, it's just we can't pull it out fast enough. Really, <laughs> that's what's funny. Fifteen minutes. Let's see. What will that be? One thirty. That'll be ready at one thirty. Can't go out the back door. I'll be tromping through all that snow. Cowardly lion. 
just going to lay my, I'm just going to wear my lay, hair flat for now on. You know, I'm just, at that age, my hair is pretty terrible anyways. And why well, do anything with it? Uh, Glenn Ford used to have his hair like this. And so did, uh, um, uh, uh what's his name? Uh, guy that played on a team, um, uh, Papard or George Papard, yeah, George Papard has hair like this. Very good, George Papard, yep, very. George Papard. It's kind of a slow day today. What do you mean, 20 or 30? You know, viewers, if we can announce. What Emmys? We have 30 viewers right now. I'm going to go get my chicken sandwich. Yeah. Thank goodness. Where do you want me to put this then? Is this the receipt, the new receipt? Is this the new type of receipt? Yeah. Yep. For now. For now. I'll be right back, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. I'll be right back to get my chicken sandwich. A break, Tim. BS a little bit. <laughs> checked on that. I don't know if you checked or not. Hey, Timmy, did you get you still? Are you, are you still eating? Let's see. Peppers. George Papard. Uh, Got to figure out these. How to use this paint? My pick. I sent you today on Brian. Ugh. Right.
That's a good idea. Good, 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 good. I know, I know, I think it's, I think it's crazy, I know. I try not to let the, some of the haters worry me out, because, you know, you've heard other, other stuff that's real bad, and things like that, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, oh yeah, for sure, I think it's, because I mean, Okay, after the survey yesterday, we did the numbers. Yep, yep. We did the numbers. And uh, Brian's out trying to find some food. He's getting a chicken sandwich. I think he's chasing a chicken down the street. Yep, there he goes. Anyway, uh, I've been busy this morning, but this is going to be the composition. Number three was selected overwhelmingly. I think there was like two that picked number two. Nobody picked number one. Yeah. <laughs> that was Ryan's selection. But this will be converted into an 18, 18 by 24 oil painting. And then from the oil painting, we will make prints available for those that have an interest in the SC55. What is it called? 355? SC355. Nice composition. Purposely, we blurred the background with the Pro Ticker Toy. Give a little of a f visual effect. What are all the pictures in Tim's work area? What do you mean, what are all the pictures? It's the princess and the general. And the great Kurosawa. Brian, let me watch Kurosawa's The Hidden Fortress. He hated it. Never into really good movies. But we watched Kurosawa's Hidden Fortress. There's the general, Toshiba Mifuni, and then the princess, young actress, 1958. Here's another shot. Great story. It was the actually the story prompted George Lucas into the uh, storylines and ideas for Star Wars. Some of the filming, it was Kurosawa's first widescreen feature film. Had some neat washovers. Great storyline. Kind of inspired. D2-D2 was one of those two little R2-D2. R2, yeah, CPO and those two little metal things running around. But it's the uh, two characters in the film inspired George Lucas for it. Oh, here he comes. Here comes the man with the chicken Sam. The man with the chicken Sam. Did he bore you? Hear a shocky cuckoo? Or a uh, hear a cuckoo? Or hear a name is? <laughs> it's hard and he goes back, he goes to the back here. You know, you can't take dumb. Can't take dumb. <laughs> Unbelievable. And you'd think the hair of hookie kooky. No, we're talking about the painting. Hair of shocky knocky. The upcoming painting. Now, give him a little feedback. Cinematography was awesome. The <laughs> Let me tell you right now. The film, film, the filmography you was can't even terrible. Talk, so don't even explain. It was terrible. Yamasaki was the cinematographer, and he yeah, Yumi Kuki, shot. Yumi Kukiaki. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> funny people's names. <laughs> Brian Young, Pro Why does he have to? Do yeah, I called that? yesterday, and he told me to call back today to talk to the millennial. Yes. The millennial. Here Absolutely. you go. Absolutely. Here you go. Talk to somebody that knows. Okay, so I've got my uh, chicken sandwich. Uh, I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to chop this in half here. Oh, where did I put the... Uh... Oh, okay. Mm, that's good. Good cracker. Good cracker. Mm. 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 
Oh, mm. Good cracker, good cracker. La di di, la da da, la da da, la da do, la di 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 di. Oh, okay. So I had to, uh, I had to endure. Uh, and your uh who are who who are saki kaki uh the hidden fortress okay so there was really no fortress i i mean it, unless you call a bunch of rocks and these little buildings a a hidden fortress but i think the title was named wrong I don't think it should have been called the Hidden Fortress because that was very deceiving. I mean, I mean, the movie's about a princess, a, a disgruntled or a disgraced general, and all this gold that, that is basically hidden in wood. They basically hollowed wood out and stuck these gold bars in it. But and then they had these two kind of like uh, Abney Costello type characters that were, you know, greedy and they all they wanted the money for themselves or they they wanted to go on their own and. Uh, I mean, it could have been made in about ten minutes. That's my opinion. You, you have a customer account, maybe? I mean, I'm I'm an expert of movies, oh. all right? Okay, could you, could you log into the account and have the So I could tell you what is a good movie and what's not a good movie based on my opinion, all right? Good afternoon. End time! But that's just my opinion, okay? Um, if you're more in, I might be on the account info. Is there any account info in there? Mm. Good pickle. Good pickle. We got everything caught up in the way of shipping. eBay is kind of like falling off the cliff. Where's the hat? That's what happened when you have corporate greed. Uh, yeah, don't they don't care happen. about the average retailer. That one might be optional. They think they do, but they really don't. Mm. 
eBay is for the mega retailers. They're not retailers, they're corporations. Yes, I, it is. We're not quite there yet. We're almost. We want to start doing auctions on eBay. Good chicken today. Really good. Exactly. eBay's only worried about the stockholders. They don't care about about the retailers. They don't care about the only the, the buyers, you know. And unless you have sellers, you don't have buyers. So I'm going to readjust how I do things on eBay. Yep. But, uh, could actually call the movie, the movie could have called the uh, Forgotten Fortress. You know what I'm saying? Tons of neat slot cars. Well, let's put it this way. Um, back in June, eBay was 80% uh, of my sales. Yeah. Back in June of last year. Now it's 10% of my sales. Maybe 20. Okay. Well, that's, that's how it's flipped. I'm, trying to get, I'm, I'm not weird? kidding. And Ryan, I will give him credit. He is the really the credit behind the flip. We're gonna that we flipped 80%. See, I told Ryan, I said, I'll, I'll start acknowledging things when we are selling more per day on ProTinkerToys.com than we are on eBay. And that happened uh, December. That we were constantly doing better sales on on average day than we were on eBay. And eBay just didn't care. They still don't. And I'm still being charged extra for this fiasco in in September and October yeah. when I released the blue fifty five Bel Air. That's why we didn't release release any of them on eBay. Of the black ones, we're not. I'm not listing any of the new exclusives on eBay at all. I don't need to. Yeah, those ones. Yeah, those. We're gonna start doing the live uh, auctions. I just have to talk to Ryan how we're gonna do that. Yes. Exactly. That's why I did the. That's why I did the blue fifty five Bel Air. I wanted it to be a, okay. a introduction into ProTinkerToys dot com. Listen, guys, we are only beginning. Okay, I, and I can't. I don't want to spill the beans or anything. But you know, we can only grow so fast. And I know, like Steve Stroud, I I think of Steve just about every day. Because I know he's compassionate about Scale Electric, and and other people are out there. One thirty second. Um, What's your address? We're having to we're having to build our our base, our foundation in in increments. And with any house, you if you build your foundation wrong, you you get screwed. <laughs> That's why we keep 
coming out with more items. And that's why I'm trying to um, check out new ways of getting new product, different products. I'm good, Brian. Steve Stroud. Well, see, I, I appreciate that, Steve. We do. We need more 130 seconds, though. I, I know that. I said that. Well, I know. And Steve said that, too. And I agree. Okay? But I can't jump into all the the baths of water all at one time. I have to I have to go swimming um slowly. Is this the same price as this yeah. one? Okay. And then I'm going to be working on the club member thing, so you'll be able to have, like, first dibs on that, so it'll be easier to just do without having to call and everything. I mean, I don't know if it's, like, taking both time and helping out. <sighs> do we have any more 775s anywhere? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't <laughs> Why are you out of them? What's that? Oh. Um, Never mind. Him. <laughs> I don't know if I'll know who that is, maybe. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, of course, from uh, Breaking Bad. Yep, yep. I'll, I'll say that right now. I don't know if you're watching. We're live right now. Oh yeah, I'll, I'm I'm gonna bring it up right now. I got a couple of things that I gotta bring up actually that people have sent me. <laughs> so you'll catch that. Hey, we'll see ya. Like, right. see another live stream. So, Tim, no, um, this guy, this fellow King Kong was kind of fixing. Cause you were call, you were calling me the C. What was it? CEO of operations. Chief Executive Officer of Operations. He was saying that you just go COO, which is Chief Operations Officer. You can do that. 
And then he was saying, you're the... the I'm a nothing. No, you're the C... CSO, Chief Shipping Officer. <laughs> it's getting too confused, okay? <laughs> I'm short-term, temporary, okay? I'm what? Short -term temporary services. I don't know about that. And then they also say that you look, you've you ever seen Breaking Bad? And I, I looked it up on the Google. I don't look anything like the guy. He has a beard, mustache. It's just the hat. I don't look anything like it. got to be the hat. It's just the hat. It's well, a nice hat. What are you doing in there? Look, I'm trying to find these 775s. I'm trying to... What do you mean? There's plenty of them. I've got pictures I want to, but I got to do the social media. I got to do the social media. I don't know what you're talking about. I still haven't been able to do that. As soon as we, that's why you have to let me get the social media stuff and then you go live. Because it's been how long and I still haven't done the social media for you. Huh? But he goes live and then lets me do it. But people start calling and need Tell help. Tell it's his fault. Tell it's him. I don't tell you. I, I give him an Rod Henderson just got back from the art store because the Fugit picture arrived today and it is nicer in person. I think I need the 30 by 40, Tim. <laughs> the 30 by 40 what? The soap, the, uh, what, what's Ron call that? And he Adam, had... Adam just apologized for uh, wanting to go live stream. Why? Because he's because he, you were complaining about wanting to go live stream. No, I said Ron he, called it the slot car opera. That's what it was. The slot car. I think he called it the slot car opera. I'm not complaining about going live. That's Ron, not Rod. I'm complaining about you going live before I can get the social media done. You just go live and then I can't sh I can't share it. That's right. Because well, he does things the way he wants. That's why we're always second class. Let me guess, it's what Grandma said. <laughs> oh, he's second class. Second tier. Call it second tier. You know what, I should have put something on the image. R.I.P. Rush Limbaugh, you know? Nah, we're alright. No? Don't need to do that? Well, Rod's not going to be able to do the 30 by 40 because his wallet won't handle it. Guys, it's a freaking, it's a mountain of boxes over here. He's going to... UPS. Uh, Did he say oh. at 5 o'clock? Yeah. I tell you, shipping to California is absolutely the, a nightmare. Tell us about it. It's double. It's double than where it would be anywhere else in America. Antonio Smith said, hey, Tim. Man wants to hear the wallet song. Good yeah, cause. I'm of charging phone. for all my songs. One. This one? Yeah. Go, Tony. Snake, mongoose, and a drag strip. <laughs> Get the thumbs up, but we got no hey, likes. Hey, Antonio, I'm back here rearranging the back room because he messes it up. He's so disorganized. What's this big one coming in from Steve? Oh, boy. Check out my new photographic collection. You have to enlarge your screen to see Toshiro Mitsumi, one of my favorite Japanese actors. Actually, my favorite act, Japanese actor. And then the princess. She was only in films for a couple of years and then retired. The Great Hidden Fortress. Oh, it was a classic last night. If you want to watch a good, fun movie that, that actually the storyline plays off of Star Wars, check out Hidden Fortress. 
And the subtitles are perfect. They work very well, very well. Uh-oh, should I answer that? ProTicketToys.com, how may I direct your call? <laughs> Hello. Yes, and who would you like to speak to? Tech service or IT or Brian? Yes, okay, the order just placed. What's the name? Andrea. Hey, Andrea, California, baby, he's been watching. <laughs> How you doing? I'm just pulling your my, order. I my professional uh, voice through a Yes, box. can I put the return loop in. inside oh, yeah. the set? Not used to that. You're right. You oh, all right, great. All right. Around here? Who do I talk to? Yeah, I just have to take like, out one piece of paper. Fresh. There's a lot of cardboard inside the box. Are you watching live? Isn't that funny? The oh, they're they're brand new. I, I have my little minions outside working on them right now. They they uh -oh. they put them together and they see. No, they're they're uh, they're from Auto World, brand new. I bought like a hundred of these sets. Yeah. The outer curve the the outer curve is twelve inches, so it's basically two feet. It'll be two feet by 14. That's how long the race is. Two feet by 14. So I am going to... I'm going to... You, hold on a second. Okay, say that again. Hey, no problem. I'm going to use you as an example today. I'm going to show people how I pack a return loop set. So you could, yeah, I'm posting it on, it's on YouTube Live right now. If you go to YouTube Live, uh, protinkertoys.com, find our website, and you'll see our live broadcast. Or if you just go to our website, click one of the videos, and then go to our webpage, and you'll see us our live broadcast. Just click one of the videos, and that video will to then take you to YouTube, and then you you can go type in protinkertoys.com. I knew it. Oh, Tim, you really have to put these pictures up, don't you? Unbelievable. I'm just talking to my brother. He's, uh, do you have a brother? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I have, I Are they have, annoying sometimes? What's the problem? What oh, is, I know they can, Andrew. I, I what's agree. the situation? Nothing. Pictures are okay for you, too. you find it? You'll be about ten seconds. You'll be ten seconds uh, bat behind. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. All right. So that was a customer. I think it's a brand new customer, Andrew. So basically, this is the uh, Auto World drag strip. Comes in this nice box. But the problem with Auto World is they, they have a lot of empty pack. Look at this. This is empty space. And there's one thing I don't like is empty space when you're shipping something. Look at that. Empty space. So I neatly take this out. Look at this. You want to see some empty space? Look at that. That is all empty space. All empty space. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> okay, we don't need that. So this is the return loop. And the return loop, you get outer curve. So that's technically an outer curve. And so if you put a standard curve next to it, you could do a four-lane layout. So what I do is I cut the plastic real carefully. And these are your straight tracks. So I just put them right here in the empty spot. Look at that, it goes right in there. And then I put the regular ones in there. Then we put the transformer and the little piece of track. They'll go over here because they've taken up too much space. Now, the rest of the track, 
is right here. Now, the, the, the bank curve, the outer curve is actually two curves, and I'll show you that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tape off. Okay. I'll put a slit right here. There we go. All right. La, 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 la. All right, so the outer curve is basically, this is an outer curve. A standard curve goes right here. Four uh, standard, I'm sorry, four standard curves make a complete circle. Eight of these make a complete circle. But what happens is, see, they come in two pieces. They come apart. So we just take them apart, and we then wrap them in, in bubble wrap. Because we want Andrew's set to get there nice and safely. So we put his standard curves right here. They fit perfectly right in here. All right. And then the rest of this track, we can still stick right here. There's still plenty of room here. And then I just put this here and here. Now his cars, see his two cars come in these little, uh, little, these are his cars, the snake mongoose, snake and mongoose cart. We can still put this back in here like this. Now there's a little cardboard here that we have to bend. So what I do is I put the snake mongoose car inside of here so that it doesn't, they don't get roweled around. Okay, check that out. And because Andrew called me and he's been such a nice customer, I'm gonna throw him in a CUDA free. Now everybody's gonna want a CUDA. Uh, <laughs> I told him if they buy a race set, I'd send him a CUDA. CUDA! CUDA time! Andrew got a CUDA, so I'm going to put that CUDA in here. Now, this is all of his... These are the stickers, Adam, or Andrew, that you're going to put all over your, your drag strip. And this is instructions and all your under... And always read your instructions and how to clean your track and everything like that, okay? And that goes right here. All right. So we got everything nice. Now we have, we put the cover lid back on top. Nice and neat. And we tape it. Like this. All right? And then this box, Tim likes to use these boxes because he has to reverse them. I don't need that. And then I will slide the race set back into the box. Nice and neatly. Whoa, look at that. And Andrew's set is all ready to go with the return loop inside plus a free CUDA. Now, now that's going to go to Tim, Andrew. And Tim is then going to pack that, wrap that for you. Oh. They they don't care about shoe or shoe cowie. And who was the who's these actors? Who's that one actor? He, I think he played in all the Godzilla movies, actually. Yeah, why do you why do you check to see if he played any of the Godzilla movies? He didn't. I bet you he did. I'll bet you ten two hundred. Two hundred. Ten bucks. Hundred dollars. Ten bucks. Hundred dollars. No, no, ten dollars. No, ten dollars. Hundred. That he was hundred. Never, never in a never in a Godzilla movie. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars no, right now. No. Come on. Come no. on, mouth. No, I no, said ten dollars. Ten dollars. Hundred. See that? He just I can't. I want to make it worthwhile. He can't. Hundred. He can't okay, handle 50. the truth. I'll he go can't, fifty. He I'll can't go handle 50. the truth. I'll, fifty you can't bucks. Handle the fifty truth. bucks, baby. Put it down. Let's see. Hidden Fortress. I'm gonna write here. <laughs> Look it up, baby. Fifty bucks. Oh no, I'm no, I'm sorry. Nice call. The Hidden Fortress oh. is the Forgotten Forest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
50 bucks. Let's go to Andrew. Yeah, he's playing a James Bond movie. Oh, that's right. He played in the comedy 1941. <laughs> that was a comedy. He played the Japanese. <laughs> Yeah, I played in Godzilla Returns. Midway, that's right, he was in Midway. He played in Grand Prix. He was the Chinese, Japanese buyer. The Lost World of Sinbad and Godzilla Returns, 1940, 1965. Godzilla Returns, so. There, I was right, he's wrong, like always. All right, so um, I got to print um, and, uh, Andre's uh, e uh, shipping label right now. We have a new printer, okay? So you see that printer way up there? You see the printer right there, right there next to Tim? Let me get a pen here and point. So the printer is right there. All right, so watch, Andrew, Andrews, watch your label is going to come shooting out of that right soon. Shipping to California is a, what a joke. And I thought my shipping cost covered that, but it didn't cost for 10 pounds. Brian, I thought that. What? What happens? This shipping. is not 10 pounds. What wrong? I'll tell you that right now. Well, how uh, much is it? Okay, ready for his label? It's coming right now. Which one? Right now. What customer is that? Now, when Tim moves, you'll see the label. Right there is the label, right there. And when UPS comes and picks that up today, Andre, Andres, Andreas, is it is it Andreas A N D R E S Andreas Martinez? He lives in Cleveland Street. I think he's a brand new customer. I don't know how he found us. How do these people find us? First order. So this guy was the first time order ever. He must have gone to ProTickerToys.com. And he must have said, oh my goodness, what a great guy this is. Brian Young, I've got to buy from him. Ooh. It's got to be whoever handles your website stuff. That's me. We have a new item, we have a new item li list. We're going to be listing plain, plain 440X2 chassis. Now these are not wide pan. These are just plain 442X999. Check that out. 440 X2 wide or plain chassis, not wide body, a wide pan. Okay. And that's a 440. See, a 440 has a, a, a magnet that goes all the way across, okay? See how it goes all the way across here on the bottom? See how it goes all the way across? A 440 X2 magnet does not go all the way across. Here's Here are both cars combined each other, okay? so you can see which one's. This one's the fast one, 440X2, and this is the 440. I mean, they're pretty much, I mean, you'd have to have a, a micrometer to really see how fast or different they are. All right, so. It's a wireless printer you got. That it works fine. It doesn't work. Well, it does if you just print it right. If I use a garbage computer. Andre Martinez. Andre Martinez, Tim is now putting your label on your package right there. 
Okay. Right before the two, the general and the princess. That's uh, what's Brian M McCallan from, uh, uh, um, whatever you call it. That's Tim Young right there. You want to put that over there? No, you can. Wait, what is, is this UPS? Yeah, that'll be going UPS. Do you still have a little people for display on your high HO track? Yeah, we have little people. You have all those little people, right? Snow Day Special. Yeah, Snow Day Special is um, you buy... Um, Elizabeth wanted her CUDA, by the way. Did she really want her CUDA? Yeah. So tell... Okay, so uh, what is the Snow Day Special? I don't know. What do I want to do? Uh, buy $100? Buy $100 and I will... Uh, um, I don't know. Let the, let the millennial pick the deal. Now, what are you doing over there? Was that Wilson Gibson? Yeah. What did you sell him? Nothing. You what? To, you told him to call me. Oh, come on. How do you keep giving away the house? I'm telling you, this. these millennials, they just don't get it. I'm going to have me a... Uh, uh, I'm going to have me something special. I'm gonna get me something. I got these, I got these munchkins at at uh, at. Uh, hey Brian, I got a bunch of these munchkins, Brian. Um, They're really good too. It's it's a day of fasting and abstinence, so I'm limited to what I can eat. But thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, this is Brian. Yes. Good. Yeah. Okay, I well, I've I've had a uh, I've had a zebra Z uh, Z uh, twenty eight forty four for years. Okay, and I've I've got it connected to my to my um, uh, Windows ten. Okay, and it runs. I print labels all the time. My son wants you know he is uh, <laughs> he's a millennial, and so he wants to do all this high tech stuff. Okay, I don't know if you're a millennial too, but anyways. He wants to, I'm a, I'm a baby boomer, so he wants to do all this high-tech stuff. He wants people walking around with their iPads, printing labels whenever they, you know, want to. So we, we, uh, we have iPads. We have two iPads. We'll probably get more, and we're connected to Shopify, okay? And so we can print, I mean, I can print uh, labels and all, or uh, generate our, our, um, our um, shipping label, you know, on the iPad if I wanted to, 
And so, and, and on his iPhone. So he likes to be, you know, on his iPhone and, and print a label and then sh uh, print it to uh, his Zebra, our new Zebra printer. Now, the, the funny thing about it is he can get on his iPad or his iPhone and send a, and, and it prints the test page, but it won't print the label. Which I don't understand how it'll print the temp page, but it won't print the label. Um, what application are you using for the, the printing the test page? Hey, Ryan, what app are you using to print the, uh, the, the test page? What do you mean what happens? No, what app? What application are you using to print the test page? The Zebra Printer Utility. Zebra Printer Utility. Printer setup. Zebra. It's garbage. Zebra's garbage. He thinks Zebra is garbage. That's his opinion. I mean, I I know that. I, they've been around forever. They're the number one label printer in the country. So, I mean, I, I and if they're garbage, well, then you'd have to prove to me it's garbage. Okay. I can't log on to my app and print from it. So that means it's garbage to me. We just want to be able to print labels from his iPad, from our two iPads, and from his phone, and computer, and, for that and from his his, uh, his computer, his i. See, he has all this i stuff. You know, I'm not an i person. You should be. It's See, it's millennials are i people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I look like a hippie. Right. I did have an Android until <laughs> last year and I said, oh, you got to get an iPhone. I hate the thing. I mean, I look bad right now. I know. It's my opinion. Yeah. Oh, brother. Now you're talking to somebody that's in Taiwan or Indonesia or Bangladesh. That... Indonesia. Are they? Oh, okay. Oh, all righty. Yep. Okay, guys, so I'm on the phone right now with Heartland, so I'm going to be doing some tech support here. So um, Tim will have to take over the camera and... Um, uh, Look at what the cover photo is. What cover photo? Big ass in the post office. Get that bag out now. I don't want to... Take that off there. Take no. That off. Yes, take that off. Seriously, take that I'm off. I'm not taking it off. Hey, Zuka Kawi's got glasses. Take it off. That's what zebra printers are garbage and don't take it off. Who cares? Who cares? He gets us. I gotta go to the post office. You need help? Nope, good. I am right here. Yippee, I, yo, Kaye. Hey, do you have... Correct. 
guides for the yes. STX compact? Because my, my laptop or my uh, Windows, I can print labels right now. It's fine. But my son cannot print from his his uh, I, uh, Apple laptop or from our two iPads or from his phone. And I haven't checked with my iPhone either. No, it won't work probably. And, and we use Shopify as our Shopify as our our e our e based business. Correct. Well, no, no, it won't be Bluetooth, right? It's through the network, right, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah, through our network. We'd like it to go to the network. Pardon me? See that? Yeah, the pr the printer is connected, and I and I can print labels from my laptop, my Windows based laptop. And it's so it's connected to the network, and it's connected to the network and extent into it to the extent that Ryan can print a test page on his iPhone, but when he prints the label, it doesn't do anything, or there's no function, which I find there's that that's got to be a glitch, unless your unless your printer does not meet these functions or it won't meet these functions. And there are printers out there. He wanted to buy a different printer, but then he had all these cartridges. And I didn't want to spend all this money for cartridges. So I said, we need to go with a, you know, uh, um, the thermal printer, you know, with the, you know, 250 labels per roll type. I didn't want to go to the cartridge type um, label because that's double the cost for labels. I don't want to give you too more information, but that's basically where we're at right now. But I can get the other one. That works with the generic. Now, why is that? I see, okay. And how old is this printer? Is this printer brand new? You got the best of the best. It really is. I got yeah. it. Got it. Okay. Right, so that's my dilemma is, so this is the wrong printer then. Right, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, that's frustrating. Um, so, in no, other words, fine. this printer is not what we, we and that, so we're going to have to return it, basically. I guess this is my question. You know, I'm just a, an average consumer, but I mean, you spend $500, $624 for a Zebra printer, and it's not supported by Apple. I find that very odd. <laughs> considering how big zebra is and if they're going to come out with a new printer that they should they should be way ahead of this and 
if they're not, I'm thinking, what am I, am I lost here? Or did my, did I uh, just, maybe I'm, I'm overreacting on a very simple thing, which to me is not, I mean, um, <laughs> um, okay all right all right so um the the printer won't do what we want to do then because well, it can't because it won't connect to the ipads or the iphones or the cups C U P S. Yeah, you did, I did that. You did that. I can get it if I plug it into my my Mac. I can I can print. You can print if you plug into your Mac. Yeah. But it, it won't work wirelessly. I cannot get the cups app to recognize it. And that's I... probably user error. I, I'll admit that because it's too complicated, and I'm not a right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, too much. Com Alrighty. Well, then, uh, okay. So, um, uh, okay. Well, so we're at a dead end then, really. I mean, in a sense. So, we need to find, and that's what the lady, uh, so I'm talking back to Hart. What was, the, uh, what's your guy, what's your name, Hartland? Steve. Sorry. I'm uh, so back to Heartland then, because I was talking to a lady that, that w w she said there would be somebody that would be able to tell us, okay, what, what type of printer would you have that, that would do the, what we want or is there, well, there's gotta be, cause my son found one, but it's not a, um, uh, it's a cartridge type printer system and I don't like cartridge. Well, one of them, but then one I found them. another one that's generic. And generic. That's, another that's one was one. generic. No, it uses the generic type of label that you want to use, which is fine because you get a better price. I get it. Rolo, and that's a cheap one. Cheap as in good price, not cheap as in terrible. Correct. Right. Correct. So we need right, and so we're at the we're at the gate again. Uh, this this will not work for connecting to iPads or iPhones. And so back to Heartland, do you have a printer that will work for our needs? Rolo, ask them if they have the Rolo. Okay. I mean, yeah. 
Right. Right, okay. Okay, yeah, just keep. What was that other one, Ryan? Rolo. Rolo? Do you have a Rolo unit? I mean, I hate to talking about competitors when we're on the phone with Zebra, and and Zebra, you know, I have I've had your printer for ten years, you know. I and I honestly, it is it is. I, I mean, I'm in sales. That's what I do. We have a website. We sell toys. I mean. Uh, and I don't want to be over passionate because obviously I don't work for Zebra. But man, if I was at Zebra, if I was the president of Zebra and say, "Hey, we got a problem here, people. We need to fix this right now." <laughs> to me, this is a major. Uh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm blowing out of proportion. But to me, I mean, uh, that's a five hundred dollar printer, and I can't use it with i with a uh, iPads or iPhones. Um, somebody. Right. Okay. Well, Steve, I'll just wait. Right. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Steve, uh, I'll just wait for your call then, okay? Okay. All righty, great. Thank you so much. Yep, bye. I, I, I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. And this is what, this is what really bothers me, is that corporate has so many levels that if I was the president of the company and I found out that our printer is not capable with iPhone products, I would have a serious meltdown and I would want it to be fixed immediately. Okay. Now, maybe I'm overreacting. Uh, maybe uh, that's not the way it's done, but that's the way it should be done. Now, I just got an interesting email from a person um, that talks about Goo Gone. Okay. And that I am misleading people about using Goo Gone. Okay. It says, I do not have an issue using Gugon as a lubricant and cars, though. Gugon is not a lubricant. Gugon is a cleaning product, okay? And he is correct. Gugon is a product that takes away uh, uh, for, like, cleaning uh, uh, grime. Well, here's why I use Gugon in cars, okay? Now, I don't necessarily mean to squirt it in the car, but... I have seen cars, this is, okay, you need to calm down, Brian. This is why I've told people to use Goo Gone over the last 10 years. I have seen cars come back, happy pill time. That's right, happy pill time. It's happy pill, happy pill, happy pill. Hey, look at Hiroshima Coffee's got glasses. How much are each of these? $24.99. Each of them? Yep. They're both the same price? No, one's $22.99. That's $440X2 is $22.99, and the other one could be $24.99. And how I much have already got them priced that way? No, you told me to delete the other one and put them all in one. I had them already together. I had already put them together. No, I, no, so this is happy time. These are my Melkas. You can get these on Amazon. They're really my favorite chocolate. How much of each do you have? It's unlimited. All right. So here is why I tell people to use Goo Gone. Um, you know, in the gears, cleaning the car out. I would get people sending me their, because uh, uh, they're 132nd uh, SCX cars. I once had a car that had so much hair inside the gear mechanism the tires wouldn't even run, okay? And yes, Goo Gone is a great cleaning, they go cleaning product, but I think it's more than that, okay? Uh, inside of a vacuum cleaner bag, correct, Ron. 
Ron is exactly right, okay? The, the, the inside of some of these cars have so much grime, have so much sticky stuff in them, okay, that they just, they need a good cleaning, cleaning. Now, after you put the goo gone on, if you want to put oil on a gear and on a, on a certain uh, part, that's fine, okay? I'm just saying for cleaning the car, for cleaning the chassis, uh, and especially the track. So with 132nd SCX Digital, the track is where the information from the, the, the guide pin or from the, from the guide blades, the track is where all the information, the zeros and the ones were going through. And you had to keep that track clean. And Goo Gone was the best thing to clean that track. You, would, you could swipe it and you could see the black just come off on your fingers. I could do it right now on a piece of track. Just wipe my fingers across it and my fingers will be black. So he does have a point. I will give him that. I'm not saying I know everything. I'm just a practical person when I use items practically. Okay. It says there has been, they've been designed to remove contaminants such as glue, tar, including grease and oil. They have, and I have heard Brian recommend that this is the best thing to use as a lubricant several times now. I feel I should mention mention it. I am pretty sure that a veteran slot car operators will know better than try and use Goo Gone lubricant. See? And this is this is it. I totally is is slot car enthusiasts will say Brian's crazy. Okay, that's fine. If if you think I'm crazy, that's fine. I just I just have known that you know what if your cars are 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 full of grime, okay, a slot car is not a Mopar or or a, a a NASCAR. It's not. It is a toy. And it needs cleaning. So, he, so they're saying that it doesn't lube it? No. Because, because, I mean, in the Navy, we use CLP, cleaning lubricant. I mean, and that, so I, it's the same thing. It so is I'm, the same I'm thing. I'm going to argue on your end, and you, I know you say, oh, you're never for me, but that's what we use, CLP in the Navy to clean guns. Yes, I know. So I think Goo, Goo Gone is just the CLP of slot cars. That's your argument. That's my argument. It's been my argument from the very beginning. I'm not saying that you want to put goo gone. I mean, you could spray it and then put oil right on the gears, okay? And I like comics like this, honestly, because it's great information for people. All right? Robert, whoever Robert is, his name is Robert. Um, almost all he watches is almost all the time. That's great. Love it. But Ryan's right. You know, the types of lubricants that we are, especially on submarines, the lubricants that we would use, you know, that they've, uh, anyways, there's a long story on that stuff. Okay. So that was a very interesting email. Vanessa, let's see, I'm wondering, I am wondering how you do a pre-reordering. I see a couple of new slot cars listening coming soon. Well, looks like we got everything out today. Seems like, uh, send you a scoop of Ohio snow. All right, all right, guys. Okay, if everybody, if okay, what what can I give away today? What what do we have that we can give away? Yeah, they want a special. I know that. Oh dear Lord, help me. What do we got? Okay, everybody. If you, anybody, okay, so here's the deal. Today, you buy a hundred dollars or more in products. Um, we will give you a um. I mean, I've got so many Bakudas. I have so many Kudas. I just give you a Kuda. But everybody's got so many Kudas. Those are going to be popular one of these days. I know it. Why don't you do a special, like, car that you grab in the back that you give, you said, at a lower price for today? Like, All right. Okay, if you buy any, okay, here it is. Free Tinker, okay, Frinker, Tinker. Yeah, if you buy $100 worth of stuff, you're going to get one of these. 
Hold on a second. Brian's down the aisle. I got to get down here when he's not down the aisle. Hold on. Wait, wait till Brian leaves the aisle and then I'll. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. All right. All right, so... Uh, all right, so if you buy anything, if you buy over $100 in product today, what do I got lots of? I've got a lot of these I'd like to move. I'm going to send you a set. So if you buy $100 worth, you can get both these cars. You'll get both these cars for 40 bucks. That's $20 a piece. So Ryan is going to show me the 50 piece of show me the 50 piece of chassis while you're back there. I need to see the color of the rim. What do you mean the 50 piece T? Oh, t right. Total control racing. Yeah, they're right here. I got a whole case of them. Look at this. Thousands of them. Total control racing. And you can change that to, uh, to, to any lane. Okay. There is no pick on the web. All right, I got to put a picture. So you're going to get two cars for 40 bucks. That's a good deal. 20 a piece. $100, buy $100 worth of product. You're going to get these two cars for 40. I'll let Ryan know these are on sale at $20 a piece. Mm -hmm. Cody. Yeah, you're dead. You're freaking dead. I don't know if maybe it's back. Hey, did you get uh, Hawaki? Oh, you. Hey, your, your guy's got glasses on, by the way. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> he knows about it. He, he, I saw it. I just saw it. Why'd you wreck it? Oh, yeah. I got to get chassis on this thing. Mm. Right here is your picture. Right here. Mm. Right there it is. Right there. All right. So I need to get 10 of those and lay them out on a, on a thing and make take pictures. Mm. Now, see, it's only things are only funny when, when he does them. See, things are only funny when he does them. All right, so TCR chassis. Where are all the ones that we wrapped up? Right here. <clears throat> TCR chassis wrapped up. Ten of them. Ten TCR chassis. So we're going to show you how to, we're going to take pictures of this right now, and we'll get them listed for you right now. What did you say the price was? Twenty for those things you brought in. Twenty a piece. Twenty a piece. 20 a piece. All right, so we're going to take pictures here real quick. Ron Gardner wants a free logo box. Yeah, why don't we give a sticker, Ryan? Why don't we give a sticker for a $100 order? Why don't we have the stickers? Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Okay, now these are yellow. Hold bad? on a second. Why are they yellow? Well, because we've got some cars that have yellow cool. and some cars that have black. Um, hey, will you pull this down for a minute? Yeah. We got to see if they're black or yellow. Are they all yellow? They are all yellow. Well, why'd the one I pull out was black? Here, can we open that up for a minute? Here, yeah. get the scissors there. 
You can just go ahead and sit it down here. They're all yellow. Alrighty. Okay, so I was mistaken. They're all yellow. They're not gray. And there's some cars that I have gray, which were the F1 cars. But uh, these are all gray. Or these are all uh, um, red, orange. Or uh, um, these are all yellow. Why would they say no tires? Because some, I, I did have them used to list with no tires. Oh, okay. Because they were saying no tires. And, those are neat looking. Kind right, cool. Oh, God. It's black. That's your shot. Okay, there we go. We got all the we got all the images. Good cracker, good cracker. There we got all the images. Now, uh, so when you go to the the uh, the item on the website, it will show you images of the of the chassis, all ten. I mean, fifty nine ninety nine for ten TCR chassis. That is really is the parts alone could could you could use for, for rebuilding other cars. Um, so, um, is that the special then? No, the special is you get $20 on every, on, on the two cars. Just put them on at sale at 20 bucks a piece. Buy a hundred dollars worth of stuff. You get, uh, Believe me, I've got some street track that I'm getting that I'm going to offer deals on sets when I get these straight tracks. Okay. I mean, I'm getting these straight tracks. I ordered a thousand straight tracks for Auto World, and I'm going to offer uh, Auto World sets with extra straight tracks that are just going to blow people away. I mean, I'm going to offer it with two straights, with four straights, with 10 straights. Okay. An Auto World set. And it's only going to increase the set price by like 20 bucks. It's phenomenal. Huh. And he's wearing it. He's playing his opera. His, his, his. Oh, that's brother. That's Orion playing it. That's, um, that's organ music. Really? I didn't pick it. Okay, are you just standing around doing nothing or what? I'm taking a break, okay? Man. A break. A B-R-E-A-K. Something you take all the time. I do, huh? Eating. Okay, so we've got that oh. order shipped. I'm getting out of here. All right, so we just sold, let's see, Ron. Oh, what's this order here? Where are you going? Let's go pack another. I think it's, it's, I think it's just, uh, what kind of deal would you offer on a 132nd sale cars? Um... Hey, I need to know... 10% the off. Just, How do you do discounts after they buy something? I don't know. You just refund? A refund, 10%? Why? What are you trying to do? 
Oh, they want to know what kind of deal we do on 132nd scale. I mean, I can do a special code right now that you can do. Okay, so we're just going to do a special code right now. 15% off everything in the store. 15% off. Ryan's going to set that up. It's going to go till midnight tonight. 15% off everything. There. What's the code going to be called? It's going to be called 15 or bust. Let's see. I think I'm going to read tonight. Idols are... Uh, <laughs> Robert says the idol hands are the, are the devil's workshop, Tim. Who is that? Was that Ron? Is it one time for a customer? You got to practice what he preaches. No, you can buy as much as you want today. I don't care how much you want to buy. You can buy you can buy a thousand things if you want. 15% off everything in the store, everything. Everything. 15%. Yippee yo. 15 or bust. 15 or bust, that's what you call it. Yeah, 15 or bust. I like that. I'm glad I came up with that good idea. Miss Suri. 15 or bust. Gotta pull this order here. posted it it's 15 the number 15 one five and then all caps 15 or bust right yep oh my gosh <sighs> getting, getting old okay oh did somebody else have just asked um update where did i put the pictures Update. Yes, yes, yes. From yesterday's survey, for those that didn't chime in earlier today when we went live, it's this one. I'm gonna paint this one. This is the composition selected. 18 by number three. Everybody picked number three except for two people. Two people picked number two. That's the 18 by 24 composition painting that will be rendered, and then it'll be sold for 1500. The paint will runs about 1500 for an 18 by 24 but then there'll be we're going to make it into prints and so this will be a print available for the sc355 series correct yes exactly yeah, thank you very exactly. much sc355 yeah wonderful okay get back to photograph work. by young composition by young i get back to work now i am working this is my no. job no that's not your job oh, i got a job at uh you have a new job <laughs> where's the label Where's the label for Ron? There's no label. That's a good one. Robert's got a good idea for a new tech video. Oh, boy. How to convert a slotless chassis to run on a slot track. Yeah, that's the stuff we got to get back into. We need to do a Grand Wagoneer. We need to start doing stuff like that instead of just crap, cheap stuff. That video did really good. You need to get into techie, techie stuff. There's your label right there. Right, good. Come over and get it and hand it to me. Just print it right there. Come over here and hand it to me. Yeah, that, that'll be a cold day in hell. <laughs> well... Oh, uh, Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Uh, uh, Steve needs 132nd scale car. Hey, you have a 132nd scale a police car? I do. Well, it comes in that... Um, oh, it's in a 
set? It comes in that police set from Skill Electric. I got a bunch of new Skill Electric cars, Steve. No, I need a, I need a 132nd police car. I, I just, do. But it's composition. No. Okay, we just got our first order from our sale. Uh, let's see what he bought. Let's see what he bought. Oh, got two orders. Uh, we got a forty-two dollar order. We see chassis. Let's see how. Let's see how that's working. Well, you better get this thing right. That well, code let's better see. Be right. Let's see if that code is right. Brian, we getting the Skeleton like British Grand Prix sets three pack. Yes, twenty TCR chassis. Yes, we have twenty TCR chassis. All right, so we just got fifteen or bust. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, so we need to get three. All right, so now we're going to get Tim working here. We need to get three chassis. I think we'll run three chassis. I think we'll get three chassis. Let's see, that'll probably be six ounces. And we're going to print his label right now, and that'll be the next label printing. And I'm going to put my finger right where the label will print. And that will be printing right now. Yeah, but I need the product, Jack. And... Now I'll print the packing slip. There's the other one. Okay, um, now I'll get the packing slip. And um, All righty, and uh, John Parrish. Just bought 20 of the TCR chassis. So I'm going to go get those two. <clears throat> get the right ones. Do you think we have enough boxes by the door? I mean, my goodness. What is going on? I wish you'd buy quit buying cheap stuff. No, he never checks it then. What did he get though? No, this thing is bent. The whole thing the chassis, the whole thing. Is okay, bent. so we got uh, 20 TCR chassis. He never takes and it. And we got the three uh takes it back. Auto wall chassis. Can you return it? We should. It's a piece of junk. And now I need to print the labels for the chassis. Hey, are we going to be getting the scale electric Grand, British Grand Prix? Yes. I've got them on pre-order. I can only get stuff as soon as it's shipped. And, and sometimes... Is this it? Is this only it? The Alta Traction? Yep, three of them. Nothing else to this order, right? right. Nothing else. I know that's not part of the special... All right, so we got two orders on the 15 or bust sale. 15 or bust sale. Um, we are now printing the second uh, uh, packing slip. And now I'm going to be printing the label at our new printer right there. It's going to be printing right there. Watch where my finger is. Okay, watch where my finger is. And there it prints right now. There we go. Oh, yippee I -O. So we've got our second order printed. 15 or bus sale. Uh, Tim's falling behind. Where do you do with these extra bodies? Why? Where'd you get these? What are those? Those are uh, 440X2. I'm going to list these. At, at, for like seven ninety nine, four forty X two chassis. He didn't put them in there. Four forty uh, Tyco, four forty, uh, four forty chassis, not X two. These are four forty chassis, complete chassis, uh, eight ninety nine. We got hundreds of those chassis. They're a nice slow chassis for kids. Okay, so we got our second order in on our sale.
What code? It's called 15 or bust. 15 or bust, Steve. Oh, he's going to buy Scale Electric. When I do, you know, when I do a sale on Scale Electric, we're not making any money on their cars because they have such terrible profits. You know that? But that's okay, Steve. It's 15 or bust. Make sure you know it's 15, the number 15. 15 or bust. One, five, or bust. Only at ProTicketToys.com do you get deals like this. Only at ProTicketToys do you get deals like this. Okay, Scale Electric, Jim Clark, Lotus listed yet? Lotus, yeah. Yeah, I think I got that. Let me double check, Steve. Yeah, I think this car is listed. The Jim uh, Jim Clark, I think it's called. Jim Clark. Hold on a second. Forty-one ninety-five. Let's see here. Product. Yeah, it's listed. Oh, it says a draft. Oh, I got to change the... I got to load this. Hold on a second. I didn't get the pricing in because the pricing didn't come with the... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where do you get Scale Electric's garbage photos from, too? Scale Electric. There's something... They need to send better images because you got miniature images or something. I know on some of the stuff I did. They changed their website. Will they not send you the images? No, I have to go to their website, but they don't they, they changed everything. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hold on, Jim. I gotta get these cars listed. Is I, a, just a 440? Yeah. Tycho Magnum? Yeah. What's Tycho Magnum? That was just a name they classified cars. Oh, I hate this new website of theirs. All right, that one car is listed. Let me get to the other ones.
looking at you him. die afterwards. <laughs> looking at him is my motivation. That's what I do. The more I see him, the more well, I... He motivates me. My dad motivates me. Isn't that good? Yes, it does. My brother motivates me to eat well. That's why I'm on this new uh, I'm not trying opium. To Okay, these are done, Steve. You can now find them on our website. Okay, so Daryl Coons, 15 or bust. <laughs> so Daryl Coons, what did Daryl Coons get? So he got a 50s and Finn, a Jaguar E Type, and a Mercury Cougar. Holy cow. They say 15. They sell, some of them say, or you sound like you're saying 50. 50 or bust. No, it's 15. No, 17 or bust. You need, need to enunciate. I said it, okay? It's, people can't hear. That's the problem. You have something in your mouth? Are you eating yeah, something? Yeah, he's always eating something. He chews on his tongue. He's like, how? Oh, he regurgitates. Oh, uh, wait a minute. He didn't put the discount in, Ryan. He tried, but that's what he was asking. Ryan, he didn't get a discount. Ooh. Uh, order number uh, 5041. Check it out real quick. to input the you have to input it now i gotta try to do math Okay, so another Tell order. Them they have to check out with the code. You, you have to check out with the code, people. You can't put it in the notes. That you can't put it in the notes. You have to check out with the code. They'll in the checkout. It will say uh, what code. Okay, so uh, let's get things straight here. All right. <laughs> Quit being. Um, Ryan will take care of this last order, but uh, we're not going to be able to tolerate uh, insubordination anymore. Okay. Yeah, Just want everybody to know that. What 15% would be. Yeah, he's refunding what 15% is, I okay? Got 15 minutes to do it because I go to the post office and that's it for today. Well, you'll do what we tell you. No, I'm going in 15 minutes to make sure we hit the run. Now, I need some uh, labels, so you'll do what I tell you to do. Well, no, you're going to do what I tell Give you. Give me some labels. Fine. Give me some labels. For some reason, I can't. I don't care. Just give me the label. Something went wrong. For Daryl Coons, I need the label for Daryl. Yeah, well, you know what? It won't do his label for some reason. I need it. Let's go. Let's get on this. The old man's waiting. Oh, man. My my biceps are sore. I, I got to stop pressing. That's the thing. What are you pressing? 200 right now. We're almost 205, but I can't get it yet. Oh, man. We just got another order. Okay, give me the labels. Got 14 minutes well, left. Well, I can't print Daryl's Coons label because something's wrong with his address. Oh, my gosh. I don't have all day. Why does this never work right with these addresses? There's Daryl Coons's label. Got a label up here. Label, label, right. label. 
Oh my gosh, we just got three more orders. Let's get the labels up. Holy cow. Let's get the labels up. Oh my guys, I got I got orders flooding in now. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? Gun show. Oh, oh brother, him and his gun show. And they asked for it. They didn't ask for it. My jack. biceps are killing me from lifting. Oh, we just got another order. Oh my guys, I can't keep them filled fast enough. Come on, Tim, let's go. I can't. My biceps from Sunday's lifting. Oh, you didn't do jack. Soul, soul. All right, I gotta get these three packed. Of course, if my son would do any packing nowadays, it would be fun. Well, you do some packing. Wait a minute. I'm missing three uh, cars. Are these two going to store? Yeah, duh. Well, they should have been over there. No, the they were right the next rate. to it. They were not. They were. You just moved Check them. Check the rate. Check the video. You're talking now. Be quiet. You're thinking now. That's going to be bad. All right, so we got some cool orders in here. Now I got to pick all this stuff. Don't you wanna... pick your nose. I got to pick my nose right now. Don't pick anywhere else. I like to pick my nose when nobody's watching. And you like to pick everywhere else. Picking my nose. <laughs> I pick my, pick my noses. Let's see. TCR chassis. Let's see here. We've got some more here. We'll just do some fun stuff here the last hour of the show. Come down here. Uh, okay, we got to come down here. We'll be right here. Hold on a second. got to get And then a monogram Corvette and a Crick Crack Corvette. Revel? Revel Corvette, the, uh, the Mancuso. Yeah, that's it. Mancuso and then the Crick Crack. Thank you very much. Okay, so we got a Crick Crack and a Mancuso, uh, and then we've got uh, um, three Auto World cars. Oh, three. A UPS. Oh, my phone was ringing. Missed call. Well, that, it was like it was in the other room. I know, because it's on a vibrate thing here. I need some more label stuff because I did Daryl's done. Let's go. Come on, hustle, hustle, hustle. I haven't got all day. I'm way ahead of you. I gotta get to the post office. Let's go, way let's ahead. go, let's go. Okay, I gotta print these labels here. That's what I said, let's print them. And they don't wanna, they don't wanna count tile. Could you move your uh, camera down? That's the first thing. Well, you can bring it up close to me. <laughs> no, nobody wants it close to you, that's for sure. They say, can he back that thing up a little bit? <laughs> then everybody can. <laughs> That was a good one, Kong. Oh, Kong's here? What's up, Kong? No, no. He, he always said when that camera would get up there, he'd say, Count and Tile today. I don't know if he's on or not. Now, why is it not working? Who? Well, every all the I, I sometimes Shopify really gets me upset. I'll just tell you right now. Everything is so. Well, no, when it doesn't it work, it's frustrating. Does is eBay perfect? Is eBay perfect? They charge you five percent, so you hate them for that. I couldn't do any of these. I can't print any of these labels. 
something went wrong. There's what? always something wrong. I didn't complain about Zebra until after six hours of working on it. Correct. It took me six hours to start complaining about them. That's because you are a CEO of operations. And I still got it to work as much as it could. Correct. The Tim Monks came out. David Roaches came out. Well, Steve Shroud just did an order. Let's see what, how much of it I got. Oh, I hope I have all this. If not, I can fire Bryant. What? <laughs> Tim Monk is done. What? What? Tim Monk is done. Tim Monk's done. Tim Monk has been processed. You gotta place an order. You got I, ten minutes to do it. No, I got last. Got eight. Cause I gotta. You got go eight up. minutes to place an order. I gotta be there at three fifteen. Post office. Otherwise, you have to wait till tomorrow. We're shipping out. Graham said you better sign his packing slip. What do you mean, sign it? I don't know. What am I? I thought you signed all of them. What do you mean, sign it? Okay, Graham, I'm doing it right now. This is it. Sign it. Crap. I already gonna... signed the box. I'm signing everything. <laughs> Screw it. Of course, that's just the last name. I'll put my first. There, that's signed. There, that's signed. Good God, I'm sick of all this signing. What's BC? Oh, Canada. Signed everything, so I don't know what the heck they want. You're sick of this signing crap. I'm gonna start charging. Don't they charge it? The bookstore to get for your signature or something? You should have an option at checkout. Extra five bucks? Yeah, five bucks for a signature. That's what I'm gonna start. Yeah, but I never see it because Brian sucks it up. To buy you snacks or donuts. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't want snacks. I don't want donuts. I want the cash. Oh shoot! I thought this box was gonna work.
with a box sign too? Cripe. <sighs> okay, Graham's yours is done. Best quality in the world. Graham Monk and the gang right in here. Taking it over in a second. Oh. I figure walking out there in the cold burns a little bit of the sauce. So no, Ryan, can you check to see if I was supposed to get a free food for ordering before midnight on New Year's Eve? All right, Steve, I think I'm out of one of your uh, Austin Martins. Give me a call, Steve, so I can... I think I'm out of this black Austin Martin. Oh, there's a problem with the loading. Steve, I think I'm out of that black Austin Martin, uh, A10203. Give me a call so I can send you a substitute. Yeah, this is, these are post office, not UPS. Okay, uh, Steve. Steve, I'm out of the. Um, I'm out of your second item right here. The. Uh, I don't know what happened to. I got to take that off the inventory. It's got minus three. How, oh, brother? I might have put it minus four. I'm sorry, Steve. If you want to give me a call so I can replace that car, let me know. I've got your other items right here. I've got another Austin Martin, but I don't have that black one. There he is right here. Okay, so let me take my ear pot out so I can talk to him. Okay, so this is Steve Strout.
He just added these all in. And they're out of stock? No, they're not there. No, A0, A1041, And then X, we'll put X3U0. Three U zero. I got one left. You want that one? Correct. All righty. Awesome. Okay. Everything's okay. Thank you, buddy. All right. So uh, that order is ready to go here. You want the next two put up too? All right. That's Steve Stroud order. I got to write on here, substitute for Tim because he will freak out. Sub 10141. We go back to print labels. That's right. Best way to burn fat is more fat. There's two different types of fat. White fat. Brown fat. That's Tim's fat, is brown fat. Tim has a lot of brown fat. Got to have right, you got to have the right kind of fat. You can't have the super fat, you have to have the low fat, okay? <laughs> you got the everything fat. All right, who went in here? That's right, you got to have the right kind of body fat. I have the right kind of body fat. My, my body fat is stressed. See, I'm 6'2", and I have very thin arms. See how my arms are very thin, okay, and I have very thin legs. My fat is really just here, okay? And that's fine. That's what doctor says, fine. I'm in perfect physical you health. Vet. You mean your veterinarian. <laughs> I am in perfectly, I'm in perfect phys physical health, okay? For my age. I'm 60 years old, number one. I take known medication, medication, number two. Number three, why aren't these labels print? You know what? They're printing... They're printing, but then they don't allow me to go to print. Yep, watch this. Now, I'm going to go out of this order thing, and it's going to already show the item print. Yep, now I have to go out of the... They've got a problem with their website right now. Shopify does. I mean, a major problem. I mean, it is so major. Watch here, Steve, right there for the printer. That's going UPS. That's Steve Stroud uh, order right there being processed. So Steve is the last order right now. We don't have anybody taking us up on our fa Now, are you doing a social media about this discount today, sending it to everybody? Huh? I'm trying to add to 440. Like, you can't do more than one thing at once. Yeah, these millennials, they, they only can focus on one thing at a time. That's the problem. That's their problem. You can do it. I, I, can, do, I can do 10 things at a time. And screw every one of them up. <laughs> That's the problem with Tim is he doesn't he doesn't accept my my brilliance. Yeah, I agree. We, we should do specials like that. Okay, we might do that tomorrow, okay? Hey, Brian, you should do these specials when you're in the air in the morning, not writing in the afternoon when everybody else is already placed orders. Just say, 
You're right. I'm sorry. Brian Young, Pro Tinker. Right. Got it. <laughs> then you have to go back and fix them all. Oh, all right, I'll check it when I get home, okay? Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Joint muscle. Hello. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? I've been busy all day. What? Uh, hold on. No, he's hold on. Um, you take a, yes, there's another pickup between four and five. I know Rush Limbaugh passed away. He lost his battle to cancer. Yes, I realize that. <sighs> I mean, everybody's going to die, though. Yes, yes. All right. Everybody yep. Bye bye. All right. Much sorry, my wife is calling me. Okay, go ahead now. Finish your conversation. You order the ARS. What's the four forty chassis for? Four forties are eight ninety nine. Go ahead. I only have, I only have version three. I don't have any version twos anymore. Are these all subs or? Okay, so let me explain to you the ARS and why the ARS is the stupidest thing SCX ever did to their cars. The ARS was basically only, a, it basically it centered the guide pin after you took the car, if it crashed. And so it, it basically was, it, it, most people, oh, they, if, if you don't, then they move the car on the track and they ruin the guide pin. The ARS only centers the guide pin. It's really, that's the only function, okay? Really, there is no phone. I mean, I, if I would design a car, I would not design it with the ARS because you're, 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 all your cars should be direct wired wiring. That means a wire going from the motor to the guide pins. AI, uh, SCX decided in, in, two, in 1997 to change all their cars to the ARS system. And that was because of the uh, Arnold family at, in SCX in Spain. It was a patent and a design, so they went with that, okay? And that's why the ARS. So the ARS is really just to center the guide pin. It has no functionality of your driving of the car or the speed or the accuracy of the car. All it does is center the guide pin on the car. That's why you technically can snap in a version three in where a version two would go. You can't do that though with the version one and two. The version one, which is analog, and version two, the version one digital was a, a in a larger hole because they changed the holes in the cars back in two, 1990, no, 2009, they changed chassis. I, I'm giving you a lot of information, but there's been a lot of evolution with SCX cars. That's the problem. Okay. Nobody has them.
No, that won't work. You just need to buy as many WOS sets as you can get your hands on. Yep. All right. One twenty hundred and twenty five feet. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. Is that it? Anything else? All right. I'll check tonight if I got the motor and just call me tomorrow. Okay. Yep. All right, so let's see. We got one more order coming in. I thought uh, today was an Ryan. I thought today was an early day today. Holy cow, Christopher Hunt! What did Christopher Hunt buy? Holy cow! I know what he bought. Ah, uh, that was smart order. Yippery! I saw that order coming. I saw that order coming. Yepery. Christopher Hunt. Brian Young, Pro Ticket to it. Yep, this website is all messed up today, just so you know. I mean, they've got serious problems with this website today. There's Christopher Hunt's label. And I've got his packing slip right here. And I'm going to go pull all the items. I'm going to show you the items Christopher Hunt bought. He bought some really cool stuff. Uh, so did uh, uh, Steve Stroud, but... Uh, uh, um, Christopher Hunt has got another great collection here coming. Okay, what did Steve Stroud... Okay, here, let's read some notes. Okay, might... Uh, let's see here, what's it? What about baby fat? Okay, BMI. My name is Yo Yahoo Email Roberts. Okay, uh, thanks. Uh, you should get the special when you're in the air in the morning. I know. Sorry about that. Okay. You guys should build a one th drag strip similar to 164th. I know. All right. So we got the, uh, we got this car and this car. That one. What did he do with the? You ordered one chip, but ordered two cars. You should have got two chips with the discount. Christopher, you should have got two chips for that discount. Man. That's okay. Yellow flames? Does he have an account? Do you have an account here? Here. Okay. He does not have an account yet. Here, All, right. Well, yeah, All right. All right. So that's Christopher Hunt. Okay, so John's calling back. You told him to call him back. Who? To call you back, John. John, John who? Spire, John just Yeah, yep, yep. And then that, then John who? Fifty-five, uh, 55 Bel Air with yellow. He's Ryan's taking it right now. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. All righty, so we got all those orders filled. Oh, um, good, good. Everybody is happy. Like, send you an email. 
Everybody's happy when it's time to go home. Everybody's happy when it's time to go home. Everybody's happy. Well, guys, I'm going to... I'm going to do an end-of-a-day story. So this was back when um, I was working for Irwin Toy. This was 1990. It was either it had to be 1999 or 1997. And I was in my work. I was. We were living in a trailer at the time in Bowling Green. I, I was in my office, and I decided to call Rush Limbaugh for the day. It was on a Friday, and I got I got through to uh, Bo Snurdly, and. Um, I got, uh, and I was put on hold, and it usually took 45 minutes to an hour and a half to actually talk to him. And so, at about 1.45, he, he picked up the phone and said, hi, this is Rush Limbaugh. And I said, hi, I'm Brian Young. I've been listening to you for, you know, 10 years, and I really admire you. you know, he, Rush always talked about follow your dreams, and, and that's what I, I did. I followed my dreams of toys. I I had a, a cushy job building houses, making seventy thousand a year, and I decided to sell toys for forty. You know, so um, and I went on and on. I talked to him about Irwin Toy, and I was selling slot cars. I was selling toys, and that was really exciting. And the phone call—it must have been twenty minutes. We were on the phone for twenty minutes, and um, a good conversation. He said, uh, "Thanks for calling." Blah blah. So I hung up. And, uh, and then after that, I must have had oh, 10 to 20 phone calls from people all over the country. I don't know how they got my number. I don't know how they got where I lived, but I had five job offers, okay, with insurance companies because they heard me and they go, oh, this guy can really sell. He, he's passionate. We want him. And, um... And then I got a call from my boss, Grant Irwin. Uh, so the Irwins were out of uh, Toronto. He said, Brian, I just got a, a call from one of our investors in, in Texas saying that you were talking to this Rush Limbaugh and uh, talking up Irwin Toy and all that. And I go, yeah, I was. He goes, well, next time you do that, you might want to call me and all that. Well, I didn't know I was going to get through, number one. <laughs> and uh, he laughed about it and everything. Oh, and. And that's basically my story, my first introduction or my, my first conversation with Rush Limbaugh. The first time I, I was introduced to Rush Limbaugh was Rush Limbaugh, by, by the way, passed away today, a battle of cancer. Sad, but the first time I was introduced to Rush Limbaugh is when I had my newsstand. And I had a guy who used to come in all the time, kind of same philosophy I had. And he goes, he come in one day, and he goes, you got to listen to this Rush Limbaugh. He sounds just like you. I go, there was nobody that sounds just like me because I'm unique. Well, anyway, so I started listening to Rush Limbaugh that day. And that was the day that he fired Bo Snurdly for something about football. I remember it was football. He fired him for the day. He got fired for the day. And um, so that was my first experience with Rush Limbaugh. And basically, I, would, I, I was a rush room back in Bowling Green. I had him on every day from 12 to noon, 12 to 3, and um, I'd listen to going to Columbus every uh, every time from noon to 3. Ryan was in the back seat, two years old. Um, he'd listen to Rush when I went to uh, uh, Columbus. So that's my kind of tribute to Rush, my, uh, my thought about Rush, I guess I don't have a lot to say. I'm saddened that he that he passed, and um, and um, you know what do you what do you really say? You know, life is life is brief. James four fourteen, as yes, you know, not wants to be on the morrow, for your life is but a vapor. It appeareth for a little time and vanishes away. So you got to do what you can while you're alive. Um, he's ba he was ten years older than I am. Um, Nine years older than I am. Like my brother. He's in my brother's age. So um, he was diagnosed last year about this same time with cancer. 
he lay a year. He's only he a year. Isn't that amazing? How life is. It's amazing. But anyway, I just wanted to do that for today. I want to thank everybody for watching us today. We had up to 50 viewers. We got 37 thumbs up. My city was gone. Back to Ohio. My city was gone. Back to Ohio. What the heck does that mean? My city was gone. Back to Ohio. What? What? Where, where do these comments come from? R.I.P. was a common sense champion for American ex uh, 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 exceptionalism. That's right. He will be missed, everybody. Uh, I already have an extra chip, so I... <laughs> okay, great. All right, so we uh, had a great day today. Um, we thank everybody that, that supports our channel and supports our little community here. We're not a big community. Read the comments. Uh, I have been. I have been. Answer, answer the comments. I don't know what the comments are. Uh, go way back. <sighs> Chucky B got his uh, face mask in. That's great. Because he loves it. I can't read every single one of these. Do you realize that? It's they're, impossible. They're saying that we should build a 132nd drag set similar to the 164 version. We didn't even get that many thumbs up, but we had 50 viewers. That's yeah, why don't we have... Well, see, everybody's watching. They don't always th give us thumbs up because they just think because they're watching, they're thumbs up. But I hate to tell you, anybody that's watching, you need to give us thumbs up. That helps our analytics. I think it does. Yeah, we'll be on tomorrow. Probably, uh, we might be on early tomorrow. What's tomorrow, Wednesday? Thursday. No, it's Wednesday tomorrow. Oh, is it? Tomorrow's uh, yeah. No, tomorrow's Tuesday, guys. Get with the game plan. Oh, it is? Oh, it's I thought Tuesday. today was Tuesday. No, tomorrow. No, today is two Wednesday. I thought today was Tuesday. We know. We know. <laughs> That's right. Tomorrow is Thursday. Tim won't be here tomorrow. Tim, Tim is uh, is drawing day tomorrow. I might stop in and say hello. Some Tim haters Mike. thumbs down every day. Somebody gave us thumbs down. There's one person. I think they're out of Detroit. I think they have an attitude. It's become their objective to give us one thumbs down every time. You're kidding. I think every it's because they don't time. like us. And they don't watch us because. Well, uh, who is that? We're on the Trump train. Oh, yeah, it could be. Well, do you know who that is? We don't have any idea. Not a clue. Don't even care. Don't I do. They don't bother us. They don't bother us. We don't bother them. I they do. don't bother us. I do. Thumb down, thumb up means nothing. I mean, thumbs up. We're happy. Thumbs down. Thumbs down, don't bother us. Well, how do you get up there and check? Well, how do you get up there and check? All the people that say things. You can't have it playing. What are you doing? You can't have it playing itself. You're going to get a copyright strike. Really? I what do you mean you can't be right strike? <laughs> I give up. I, I give up. I, I'm packing my bag and hitting the road. What now? Steve Stroud says, can't please everybody. What? Can't please everybody. Why don't they finish their sentences? This... Now this one here, this message held for review. What's this? Some pick live in Detroit. Believe that what? They just removed it. Oh, piss on them. Oh, I see. Adam, there is no live stream tonight. Stop. <laughs> oh, he's trying to pull the leg. 
This is your Adam. Life. Adam's getting tired because his wife keeps chasing him around the dining room table. He will chase her. That's all right, Tim. None of us are perfect, Tim. None of us. We all have what we call um, faults. Faults. That's correct. Some people have more of them than others. Oh, that's right. But really, they don't. Everybody has the same amount of faults. You know, you just, you, well, it's all how you deal with them, you know? Uh, I've had, um, oh, see, there he goes again. I, I can never give a comment because he, I like my hair like this. I'm just going to grow so it incredible. flat. It looks terrible, but I don't care. <laughs> like shipping to California, it's a huge fault. <laughs> Adam Hurt. <laughs> now, why does Adam Hurt's thing comes up blue with a wrench near it? I don't made know. Made him a moderator so he can make sure there's no swearing or bad stuff or anti you stuff. He can delete comments that are bad. Well, how did you? Uh, well, how did you do that? We gave the, that assignment. <laughs> oh, he I don't know. know about it. Yeah, I know noticed that it. today. He doesn't even know about it. He doesn't know about it. I All right. Talk to him about it. All right, guys. Um, Adam wants to go to four thirty. He wants to go to four thirty. I can't. I'm. T what no, about you? You got to go until UPS shows up. There you go. Yeah, you can stay. You can stay on till UPS gets here. Ooh, we did it, Adam. You can entertain him till UPS shows up. I got stuff I gotta go do. Yeah, of course. So I have to stay here and be uh, online for well, another you be hour. Online because you're the, they want you. All right, got that checked out. All right. LinkedIn, I got six, 736 views on LinkedIn. Six likes, one comment. That's not a lot of likes. Slot cards. I don't know why there's a new post. I don't understand that. Well, we don't have any more orders. Thanks, Steve. See you later. H.O. Diameter meter? Yeah, I've heard that. H.O. what? Diameter. It's like a, uh, a, I think it's like an oil. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah. Is Ron on? Is he still on? Ron? Ron. Not Rod. Ron. Ron Gardner? I don't think he's on today. Oh. I did check For the him. love of Mike and the life of Brian... Later, skater. Oh. Later, skater. Ron, what do they do? What do they do? What do they do? I don't know. Ron on? Ron, Rod. No, not Rod, Ron. Oh, my gosh. I, he can't read. I got to go look myself. Maybe this is not another flag. <laughs> well... I got a gun back from Australia. Are you the one that placed that order? Are you the one that placed that order? No, I just wanted to know what happened with the gun you shipped off. Well, I got it back the next day. What order number was that? Did you break the other one? No, I thought did not. Well, where are you doing with that one? I don't have two swords. See? Why do you have two swords? Yeah. Where did you get the money? Did you ask your mom no, for I it? Totally, I totally shoveled snow again. You shoveled snow again? Uh-huh. Nice. What are you doing? Uh, me? No. I thought he was talking to me. No, no I just... Whoops. 
That's it, just break everything. There you go, buddy. Ian. See you later. Watch out for those ninjas. Watch out for the ninjas. Watch out for the ninjas. What's your problem in life? $9.99? Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, we're supposed to get three to six inches tonight? Nobody told me that. Don't you dare not come. You're just gonna have to pack it in. Don't no, give me, don't I, give I me crap. Stay you got a four wheel work. drive vehicle. Four I wheel drive. I don't get any work done though when I'm here. Look I don't it. care. Look at this. Doesn't matter, you can't have a snow day. I, I, I work. Look at all these videos need edited still. I need to put. Well, out then out get on it. Let's get to Wait. it. You do it like just. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Speaking of leaving. Uh oh. No, you're not going. It's four, five o'clock. No, it's not. it's not. I got here. Four. I got here at seven. Oh, you're doing that routine. I get here early so I can leave early. You oh, you're doing that routine. Bah. I see. Huh. Now these chassis here Is he really? Well, he got in early, so he can go early. Brian Young, ProTinkerToys.com, ProTinkerToys.com. How do you like, subscribe, and can you kill? I have no idea what he said. I got to take my uniforms. I got completed, finally. I got to take my uniforms to the... I don't know what I just said either. It's going to look good. I said it too fast. We'll see. How can I help? We'll see. Productivity. Well, not really, because I had to work on that stupid zebra for this. Well, that goes to the territory. It does. I'm not complaining. Does it sound like I'm complaining? I'm complaining. If it sounds like I'm complaining, I gotta bring. I gotta we tone it down. I gotta tone it down, though. I gotta tone it down. I gotta be positive. Which was like. What? Uh, Alerted him. It's ten seconds, and he's into a massive heart attack. I know. Six hours of my day just wasted. It's okay. You're. <laughs> you are the only person. Which hand throttle did I send you? Yes. I'm going to sit for a second. Let's go online. Might as well see the guys are saying. They got to open it up. They got to tear it. They got to clean it. Oh, man, he said hi, Timmy. No, I mean, that's that's all the... I mean, that's all the... Um, I mean, unless the... The... the, the, the uh, you, you might need more street see it's all about speed if these cars are good i mean and and believe me i've had uh i, I honestly i don't know what to say anymore um uh, uh, 
No, I mean, because the cars, I mean, I drive these all speeds going around the track. That's what I don't understand. I mean, they, they don't just, they can't just, you, you'd have to send me, I mean, I, I don't know what to do, honestly. I, I don't know where to, how to, uh, I mean, I've sold hundreds of these sets and I've sold thousands of cars. And um, like I said, magnets are different on every car. Did I send, I thought, I did, haven't I send you another chassis? They are. Yeah. Yeah. Like even when they say something mean, they don't mean it. They don't know. I mean, I I could take a, every any car, and I mean, I have a layout here that I use and just put a car on and and pull the trigger, and 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 the and the car has enough magnetism to where it will never come off the track. That's that's why I don't understand how yours is different. Okay, and that's I don't either. And that's what I'm trying to, I guess I'm frustrated because I've never had this happen like this. Okay. And I don't know if you're using the hand throttles, right? But it's very simple. You know, you just pull the trigger or you pull it a little bit for little speed and, and more for more speed. Uh, and when you let off, when you let off, the car will either coast, it's going to coast on its own power. Um, but it shouldn't just fall off the track is what I'm saying. I mean, they're the same controllers. They're all made the same, basically. Um, I mean, the only other controllers that I have are the are the uh, uh, the, the Tyco AFX hand throttles that I found that have a a rheostat where you're actually turning it. Um, uh, you're guiding it from that aspect. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to do. I, I, I mean, uh, you tell me what you want. I mean, well, I mean, there are controllers out there. They're more expensive. But, but, but what I'm getting at is that very few people have this. I have not, honestly, believe me, I'm not lying. I have not had one person call me over the, the year and selling all these sets that say they're, they're a drag strip. Their cars just fly off the track. Well, it's supposed it, to. There's no end to it. No, when they return loop on it, he says they just keep, they just go off. And that I've never had that happen. Oh, it's because ne he didn't let off. No, but he's saying he did let off. But and they only fly off if you go too fast. I, I honestly, he knows that. <laughs> well, I'm frustrated that you're frustrated, and that's what... Um, give me your phone number. Yep. Yep. And what's your first name? Yeah. All right. Let me do some checking. I mean, I, I know what the pro I mean, I'll see what I can do. I'll try to give you a call either tomorrow or Friday. Okay. Yep. All right, so here's another stupid one. I tell you, I'm getting them a lot all of a sudden now. So I get a guy that bought a car from me on eBay, and if I don't do something with this, I'm going to get screwed on this. So this order right here from eBay, I've lost money on it already. Okay, that's why I don't want to sell on eBay anymore, because they're, okay, I'm not happy. This car should have been wrapped in paper or properly tightened to the base. <laughs> how, how do you tighten to the base when they're already tightened to the base? Oh, I just...
Oh my gosh. We try. Hey Adam said he, he bets he doesn't have the small piece still at the end of the track. No, he's got it in his return loop. Said that the car was loose in the little case, the fly car. Yeah. And we put, I put bubble wrap in all of those. Well, he said you didn't. So please send back what we find. Brian, it's time to go do.
kind of shut down. See you tomorrow. Do you have more labels for the uh, label maker? The, the, the cartridges? Yeah. Did you use all the cartridges I had? Oh, I'm on my last one. Oh, uh, no, I don't have any more right now. I have to get some more. Okay. Uh, well, made a lot of progress. Okay. I've seen you. Yeah, you... Yeah. Uh, um, with the uh, uh, cars over on the back wall with the wind and the bends. Yep. Uh, uh, I have some bleeding over, so I didn't have to create a backstock box. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, the, just the one that you were looking for. Um, that was, uh, haven't figured out your software well enough to be able to bring up. I can find zeros when I have the physical stock, but as far as like, things that it says that you have that um, might not be there. Right. That I don't know. Got it. Do you have my movie? I forgot it again. Tim! What? Remind me to bring that movie tomorrow. Bring what? The movie tomorrow. The movie? The movie that I got from Bryant. Oh, the one we borrowed. Yes. I keep telling him every day, but I will. I'm going to put... Physically grab it. Oh, yeah. Physically, I'm going to grab it. No, when I get back, I'm going to physically grab it. Brian Young. Brian Young, Pro Tinker.
came down to Lucas and did any murder to his kids. Lincoln's uh, the first Tarzan movie, 1918, Silent. The one That's a good Tarzan. one. That was an interesting one. Yeah, go ahead. Turn it in face. Uh, everyone in Hollywood. Uh, it's, it's such a weird thing. Let's look at everyone during the Okay, I gotta I gotta go, guys. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Uh, yes, I got it, King Kong. I'm printing it right now. Um, they're still on. But <laughs> good night to you. Uh, we gotta go. I I got things to do, and I can't. I'm not focused, and it's it's boring video. Uh, thanks.